So means it means the efficiency. You can see it is clean, spotless. Yes, and the tangles are sahi. From a light sahi, sahi. You can see the square ones, the round ones. Chako Bikwet ni West ya ni Chako Dust Uki mix na so dust Una get Chako Bikwet na binder Unachukua kama ni mchanga Kama ni magazine TV Unachanganya Idea yetu ni kwamba how to nurse employ age my youth kama 2000. Kwenye sako tuko my youth one, around 170. Katika 170, 50 ni madem. 120 ni mavijana. Sasa tunataka tuwe, tuneza kuimpawa. Hii project yetu kwa kubwa mbaka yu tunefikia watu elfu mbili. Hapa township na all over the Kitui County. So tulipeleka idea kwa county government na county government yenyewe wameamua kutusupport. So najua historia ya vijana wengi hapa Kitui Town. Wamekuwa tu kazi ni pombe, mkoka, kuchonga. E, sasa au ma youth ndio tume target tu tunaweza wapatia kitu wa kwa wale ma youth wanashinda wakiwa busy hata watapata time za kula zile drugs. Mtu akitoka hapo katika kazi maybe anaenda kwake nyumbani. So ndio idea tulikuwa nayo ku make e project idea yetu ni vipi tutatoa ma idolers waache kukula miraa na drugs na bangi mitaani wewe okay, okay, okay. kama kijana umesaidika vipi mimi naona kama vile kijana naona maisha yangu pata hii project eh itakuwa ni kwa sawa tasaidika kimaisha na tasaidia familia yangu sababu nimepata ujuzi kido, kidogo kidogo ni hasara Kwa ni asara. Kwa pombe kwa ni asara. Mana bali uendelene hile pombe. Eh? Na kulitida. Na kutuwa chini. Hile la kama ulikuwa mapata hela. Eh? Ikuwa hile hela. Eh? Hezi kakusaidia unapaleka kule. Kulevi. Sao. Nyingine mini mepata ujuzi kidogo. Hapa. Kulingana. Na Dr. Temi, haka eh? nipa wanua, haka nipa ujuzi. Ambapo ujuzi naweza kujisidi, naweza kujisidi na kazidi ya familia, familia yangu. What Governor Ngilu has realized or has come to appreciate is that most of the youth in this county are educated and even those who don't have a lot of education, but at least they've got the ability to work. 
they don't have opportunities for work. So, in partnership with uh, quite a number of uh, organizations like uh, Eastern Community Development Fund, ECDP, and uh, Child Fund, uh, this idea of uh, starting this Brickwet project was started. Many of the youth who are in this training are from Kitui town, and uh, most of them are engaging in uh, substance abuse, uh, and social behavior, kukula uh, mekuka, and all sorts of things. Uh, they taking, uh, uh, you know, these uh, hot drinks because they are hido. They, they, they have very few opportunities of earning an income. Now, this particular machine, it has got the capacity to produce 1.5 metric tons of briquette. And mind you, briquette is just the normal waste from uh, charcoal dust, from uh, uh, sawdust, from, uh, and these are what they call the binder, some bit of a clay. And then um, we get this kind of a uh, product. Naturally, this is material we would have thrown away. And they have, uh, maybe, you know, collected this from uh, the dump sites. So these youth are going to be very, very busy because the, pork, the, the price of a kilo is going to be less than the cost of uh, 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 charcoal uh, per kilo. And um, the youth are going to be gainfully employed. In fact, the idea is that from next week, uh, this kind of briquettes will be now in, uh, available in Kitui, in Mwingi, and all the other neighboring towns. And uh, within the first week of uh, December, it will be available in Nairobi, in the informal settlements, particularly Kangemi, Kawangware, uh, Uruma, Matare. And we are asking people who have been cooking with uh, expensive energy from paraffin and also bricks now to know that the salvation has come.